Tina with You Made That, and today I'm looking at this Lawn Fawn stencil that is all about birthdays. So it's got different um, confetti at the top and balloons, and we're going to use this stencil today, and we're going to make a background onto some white cardstock. So what I'm going to do is tape down my cardstock with some cheap washi tape just so it won't move on me. And what I'm going to use for a blending brush is from the Dollar Tree. And it's this size. Look, this one I've used many times. <laughs> but it is from the Dollar Tree Sassy and Chic Find It in the Makeup section. This is a foundation brush. And it's bigger than what I'm going to use today. This is a contour brush. And they work great for our ink blending. So I'm going to have some fun with these balloons, making a background, and use these brushes along with some Stampin' Up! inks that I made myself, ink cubes, with some colors. So I bought the blank ink cubes and then inked them with Reinker. So we're just going to get some ink on my brush and to avoid any marks or thick spots, I'm going to stamp off, not stamp off, but kind of brush off onto the scrap paper. And I'll show you what I mean, what the difference is if I don't do that. If I didn't stamp off onto the scrap paper, I would get this. And all my little marks from my initial um, stenciling would show up on my balloon. Whereas if I put them onto here, then I get more of a smoother look. Then I am going to put that back and kind of go for thicker at the bottom and less color at the top, kind of a gradient look. Lining my stamp or stencil up again. There's lots of different card stocks you can use. I'm just kind of using a, a basic uh, white card stock. You can use Bristol Smooth paper that you can get at like Michael's or Joann's or even Amazon. You can use uh, Nina Solar White, those kinds of, of papers too. So there's my green. I might have gotten a little shadow right here. Now to go in between colors, I'm just going to kind of brush this off onto here wipe this down. Some people use rubbing alcohol to wipe off their stencil, but it's fine just like that. I, I didn't have any problems. I'm going to move this up here. Again, I've seen where people spray pixie spray on the back of their stencil so that it'll be a little tacky and it won't move. I have some, but I'm not going to do that right now. So I'm just showing you that you can use a Dollar Tree makeup brush, ink cubes you make yourself using a reinker, and oops, and a stamp, I mean a stencil, I keep calling it a stamp, a stencil that you can buy anywhere and using this new Lawn Fawn birthday one. That I thought was really fun. I think I ordered it, yes, I ordered it from the Lawn Fawn website. They are one of my favorite stamp companies, if not the favorite. So now I'm working on a little gradient. More ink at the top. Whoops, my slid a little bit. More ink at the top. Less ink at the bottom to get a little gradient. I like how the balloons overlap because that's what balloons do, and you can see the other colors in through 
the um, the other balloon. Okay, I'm gonna do one more in Fresh Freesia. You can wash these with soap and water. I don't. I'll wipe, wipe it on a damp chamois cloth if I need to, but otherwise I really don't clean them that much. Very fun. Okay, I finished stenciling a lot more balloons. So, let's turn it into a card. I'm going to use this Lawn Fawn stamp. It's called... What is it called? Elephant Parade Add-on. It is an add-on to their Elephant Parade bigger stamp set. And this guy is going to be blowing this little balloon that coordinates with these up. So I'll show you what I have in mind. I put a piece of Nina Solar White 80 pound cardstock in my uh, Stampin' platform, which is Stampin' Up! Stamparatus. And I'm gonna open my brand new stamp set here. Whoops, I've been itching to try this. New stamp set, new fun toy. Okay, so it doesn't matter where I'm going to stamp it because I'm going to cut it out anyway. And I'm also going to cut out this balloon. Okay, close the door on my stamp apparatus and my stamp sticks. Now I'm just kind of touching the stamps because it helps to get a good impression when they are brand new. I made this ink cube from Lawn Fawn Jet Black Reinker, and it's good with alcohol markers, so I'm going to be using some alcohol markers. They're not Copic, Copic brands, but they're different brands that I have. And so I want an ink that's not going to smear with that, so Lawn Fawn Jet Black is really good for that. Okay, looks good. I missed a little spot there, so I'm going to stamp it again. That's the beauty of the Stampin' Platform, is it ensures you get a good impression. Looks great. I am not a Copic or alcohol marker guru by any stretch of the imagination. I have learned from other people on YouTube. I like Altenew alcohol markers, Altenew artist markers. They have two different tips. I just put lotion on and now I can't open it. <laughs> oh, okay, so they have this brush tip, which is my fave. So I start with the lighter color. And again, I just learned this from other people on YouTube. Lots of brands of alcohol markers. Um, I like these Ulta new ones, but I also have some Arteza, Arteza, and I have some Dick Blick, so I like all the kinds. Whoa, couldn't get that one on there. Then I take the medium one, and I do some, what would be, wait a minute, is this the, nope, oops, no wonder that's so dark. That's not the medium one. WG03 is the medium one. So I take the medium one and I go in where maybe there would be some shadows. I don't worry about, oh, where's the light source? Some people are really good at that. I don't worry about that. I just color to have fun and give them some definition. So I put the medium one kind of where 
some shadows would be. And then I take the darker one and go where um, there would be even more shadows. So the darker parts. Okay, then go back to my lightest color and go all over and blend. And if I don't like one of the parts, I feel like it's not blending, I'll go back with the medium and go back over. Something else I like to do. Let's do this. Okay, we're going to take the medium one and we're going to make dots. Lots of little dots with the medium one. It's going to help blend out those shadows and gives them a little bit of texture. Okay, again, you can make it as smooth or as not smooth as you want. I'm kind of happy with that. I mean, it's like whatever you want. If you've got some color bleeding onto the back, that means you've got good coverage. So that is not a bad thing. I'm going to grab a pink, another Altenew color here. Don't put lotion on before you need to open your markers. That one was a little bright. Let me try this one. 301. Okay, I'm happy with that. Oh, let's give him a little pink cheeks. Now, what color should we make this balloon? I think a red balloon would be nice. So I've got this Dick Blick Studio marker. This one has chisel tip on the end, which I rarely use. And this is another Alta New one. So I'm going to use this red to kind of color in the whole thing. I'm going to color cut this out so I don't have to stay in the lines if I didn't want to. Now I'm going to fussy cut these guys out. Okay, and I use the Fiskars spring-loaded scissors. Okay, is this perfectly cut out? No. Look, at you can see where I missed things, and there's little white. So here's the trick for that. I have found that this Dick Blick Studio brush tip marker works pretty good for this. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to just brush along the edges. Now some alcohol markers will bleed into the elephant, but this one I've found works pretty good. It doesn't really do that. So I am coloring the edge and that's going to give me a nice line and it'll cover up my imperfect cutting. Very good. So now, parts of our card. We've got this background and we've got our elephant and our balloon that he's going to be popping up and then we'll have to get a sentiment on there. I want to give the elephant a little bit of grass. So I took this scrap of Lawn Fawn Spiffy Speckles paper and I'm going to line it up like this 
but I'm gonna just freehand cut him a little grassy surface. So I'm gonna want it about like that. I could die cut it, but why? Okay, so then it's going to look like this. Wow, Tina, this is really bumpy. I'm just going to trim this up a little bit. I trim this down to four inches by five and a quarter, and I cut a pink piece of spicky, <laughs> spicky, spiffy speckles from Lawn Fawn, and I cut it out of pink, because I thought that looked good. There's no pink in this card, but that's okay. On the elephant's ears, there are. I just liked it, and I'm pretty sure the person that I give this to will like it too, because don't we appreciate when somebody spends the time to make us or send us a card on our birthday or any other day. I know it makes my day. Okay, and my favorite glue is Nouveau Deluxe Liquid Adhesive, and they are out of it in a lot of places, so. And I've decided that I wanted to make the give the elephant a little dimension. So I'm going to use this foam tape that I got at the dollar store. And it works just fine. I'm using my, what is this, Jelly Roll pen and just doing a few little highlights. Now I will take this black pen and just kind of give the balloon some little motion lines like that. So it looks like the elephant is blowing the balloon up. I've put my card into my Stamparatus, and now I'm going to stamp the sentiment. So let's do, let's celebrate at the bottom. And I do go through birthday cards real quick, so let's make this a birthday card. And this is kind of scary, but there's this little happy birthday. And it can go right here. The scary part is I already foam taped it onto the card. So I probably should have done that sooner. I'm just eyeballing it as far as straight. Looks good. I have the matching elephant parade washi tape. <laughs> okay, you know what? Let's hope this works. Go back to my jet black. I'm going to use a stamping platform and you're doing a thin sentiment like this, like the letters aren't real thick. You don't want to apply a ton of pressure because that'll make the letters spread. 
So you just gently, hey, oh, I'm so relieved. That looks good. Yay, that's it. We stenciled the background. We uh, used alcohol markers for the elephant. And I think anyone would be happy to get this for their birthday. So again, this is Tina with You Made That, and thank you for watching. Bye.